What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Tech Rods, and I'm back for another player review. Listen, as always, if you're not following me on Twitter, on Instagram, or hey, listen, on Twitch, make sure you do so. The links to those sites are in the description below. So, as always, you know, some of you guys are very big fans of the Bomb Squad, some of you guys are not, but obviously, we try to do a really good amount of player reviews of players that I would actually put on my squad, and then I give you my opinion. Now, of course, as soon as the Combine Warriors started coming out, one of the big things that you guys were asking for was a review from this player, specifically because he has 99 speed, but then there's a lot more to this card than that. He has 97 spec catch, 96 catch, 94 catch in traffic, amongst other things. Now, of course, once you have a player that has that kind of speed, he's going to be very attractive to everybody. The great thing about him that I noticed, even though he's very short, he has 93 jump, uh, he has really good elusiveness, awesome juke move, so he's going to be really good with the ball in his hands. But the 97 spec catch, 94 catch in traffic, and 95 route running is something I really, really liked. Now, it's not good for a short receiver to only have an 89 release, but if I was going to put him up against the last wide receiver that I reviewed, as you can see, Brendan Cooks beats him in everything. Now there's a lot of cheaper alternatives because Brandon Cooks is like 220 something thousand points. But as I put him up against other burner receivers, as you can see, he has so much in the arsenal. Even against a better like, or a more competitive receiver who has a lot of speed in that campus hero's Percy Harvin, he just outright beats him. So of course, this is the squad. Fortunately, we have a lot better line and we also have some pretty good receivers around him which for the gameplay is going to allow me to really spread the ball around. So in the first game we're gonna look at, first play of the game, of course we're gonna hit him with a big hitting move and see if he's gonna be prepared for it or not. The second play from scrimmage for our offense, we're gonna throw it deep against Super Bowl legend Steve Atwater. And even though he knew we were gonna go deep, the speed was too much even for a really good coverage safety in Steve Atwater. Now the great things about him too, if you're gonna put him on a streak, he is so quick and his route running is so great that you're really gonna see great results from him even if he's not somebody that you're gonna be throwing deep on. But then guys, when he's on a one-on-one -on -one situation, he still has good enough animations to make the catches that you need. We had a very interesting discussion on the stream about whether or not height mattered in this year's Madden. And that one was really good in favor of those who said height doesn't matter. Of course, with that catch in traffic, if you're running post routes uh, in the middle, you're still gonna have pretty good success. However, one of the things that I noticed is that consistently, you're not gonna get good aggressive catches from him. Not because of his height, but I'm not sure what it is there. Now, of course, guys, as far as a bomb squad scheme, come on, man. I don't know if there's a better receiver that I could have put up there for this. Maybe somebody who was better at jump balls would probably be the only other option there. Now, continuing on in our third game, once again, we tested it out with, a, with a, a defender draped all over him. He's definitely able to make the catches whenever you need him. And right here, even though my opponent expected the ball squad to be hit on him, and he reacted pretty, pretty well, that acceleration and that speed is definitely too much for him. Now, this boats a question, man. What, what, do I think, what do I think about this card? What I think about this card is that he is pretty expensive especially considering the fact that you're just getting him for the speed. There's a couple other receivers out there in 96 legend Michael Irving, um, Demarius Thomas, the final edition version. Uh, the list is gonna go on, who have more of a package of run blocking, because his run block is only 42, of size, of release, that are gonna really outperform this card and are anywhere between 75 and 100,000 coins less. If you're getting this card because you've seen me run my scheme and you think that all I'm ever gonna do is throw the ball up deep, then you are definitely sadly mistaken. Uh, nobody who is really consistent with their defense is gonna allow you to throw deep bombs over and over and over on them. Now, if you are looking for a burner player you're gonna put at the slot, or you're gonna use primarily to always have the threat of a deep ball, then this is definitely your guy. And there's few receivers out there that are gonna be better than him, especially at the price point. That's all I got, guys. Go ahead and like if you want more player reviews. Subscribe if you're new, but most importantly, take care of yourself. Peace.
action. Are y'all ready? Five, four, three, two, one. That for 300K, he didn't seem like if he was worth it. Now, I say that with a caveat. He did break tackles, don't get me wrong. As you can see, this run right here is a good example of how good this card can really be. If you got space, usually...